<laughs> What's going on guys? I'm Steven Aldaco and we are here in Sequoia National Park. It's one of my favorite national parks. It's home to the largest tree in the world and it's super beautiful. In this video, I'm going to show you the very best hiking spots so you can enjoy your trip. If you're not already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let's get to it. First stop is Morro Rock Trail. This is a point for out and back trail. It's gonna climb about 180 feet of elevation through these stairs. We arrived just after sunset, so there was plenty of parking available to us. We got Lippincott Mountain, Black Kawe, Black Kawe Queen, Lawson Peak, and Mount Stewart. And behind all of that is Mount Whitney. You can see all of this from the top of Moro Rock. This is a relatively easy hike and there are plenty of places to stop if you need it, but the views at the top are absolutely incredible and one not to miss during your trip to the Sequoias. Just a short two minute drive from Moro Rock, make sure to hit up Tunnel Log. It's a cool experience to drive your car through a fallen tree. Your next stop in Sequoia will be the Sherman Tree Trail, which consists of two trails, the Congress Trail and the Sherman Tree Trail, which takes you to the largest tree in the world. You'll descend down this part of the trail here, and it's very easy, but just remember that you have to hike back up and at elevation that can be quite challenging. At this junction here, you can choose to go straight to the Sherman Tree, or you can make your left and do the Congress Trail, which is a three mile round trip. The General Sherman Tree isn't the tallest tree, but it does contain the most volume of wood, which makes it the largest tree in the world. The Congress Trail is a three mile loop and it's home to many giant sequoia trees and it's much more quiet. Not many people venture off this direction so you can enjoy the forest a little bit more. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Nice, is it a cave? It's a little bit. I think it goes all the way through. <laughs> mm. Next up on our trip will be the Tokopa Falls Trail. Park near the Lodgepole Campground and at the top left of the parking lot you'll see this bridge which will lead you to the Tokopa Valley Trail. So we're on the Tokopa Falls Trail right now and this incredible rock it's just gorgeous and along the trail there's also like the creek it's beautiful this is turning out to be just an awesome 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 trail loving it
What do you rate this trail? 10 out of 10. It's pretty high. It has water. I love water. Looks like there's a bear right over there. On your descent down from the trail, make sure to stop at some of the watering holes so you can enjoy and cool off from the sun. So we're heading to Heather Lake. If you want a real challenge, Alta Peak elevation, 11,200. Not bad. The route we're taking to the Heather Lake is through the Watchtower, which gives you incredible views of the valleys and Tokova Falls. This trail is definitely at higher elevation and you do climb a bit, so it's a little bit challenging, but definitely manageable. So we're right here at the Watchtower on the Heather Lakes Trail and it's beautiful. As you make your descent back down, you can take either route via the hump or the watchtower. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm back home here in Newport Beach and just enjoying a little time by the sand. It's been about a year since I've started this channel. I just wanna thank you all for your support. There's a few bits of the video that I didn't get to include, so I wanna include them now. If you're wanting to camp at Sequoia National Park, there are many campgrounds there, but you do need a, a reservation. So reservations are available at recreation.gov and I'll leave a link down below in, this, in the description for that. It's been almost a year since I started this channel. I just want to thank you all for your support and your love and all the comments. I'm just loving it. I'm having a great time with it and I hope you all are too. I started a Patreon recently and a Patreon is a way for you to support me as I go on these adventures and travels. Right now I film everything on my iPhone and a GoPro and I make it work, but I'm hoping to invest in a better camera. So with the money from the Patreon, I'm going to reinvest it back into this channel to create better content for you all. So I'll leave a link down below for my Patreon. If you are a Patreon, you do get special perks like early access to videos and also you'll get a shout out in the video. So, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're not already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and stick around and I'll show you a little bit of outtakes and some things we did while we were camping there. You guys might enjoy it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Take care and enjoy these outtakes. Got the Cam Shower 5000. Amazon it. special. Let's give it a whirl. Ooh. Fuck. It's so <laughs> cold. cold. Get it. Oh no! It's cold. But it's flowing. 
Look it, it's working well. <laughs> this is for OnlyFans, bro. Let's try that again. Let's try this. Interesting. It's like a powder. All right, this sip is for Ashley. Thank you so much for sending me the Four Sigmatic tea. Uh, let's give it a try here. Oh, nice. I like it. It does taste like a, a chai tea. Hmm, good stuff. I wonder what the, the mushroom's gonna do to me though, bro. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>